Warning, listening to Mac Daily can make you think, question reality, and take responsibility for your own life. Listener discretion is advised. How's it going, Internet? This is Mac Daily. So I put out a video the other day talking about how China runs the world. And I wanted to elaborate on that concept a little bit because I got a little pushback from some of my constituents here on YouTube. Now think about the three superpowers of this planet. You always hear about America and Russia at each other's throats. It's always these two countries that are butting heads and you don't ever really hear about China. And so I was trying to point out that it's most likely China playing these two countries off. They have wormed their way into the government of America and they've wormed their way into the government of Russia. They own the various politicians in these two governments. And through this marionette process, they're able to kind of dictate the law and how things pan out in these countries and they're slowly ticking them their way, their direction, which is towards communism, socialism, dictatorship, everything that Chinese culture is all about. The only country that's allowed to have a border wall, in fact, they're praised for it. It's a great wall, is it not? Everyone loves that. Everyone loves the homogenous country of China. Everyone looks alike. No one misbehaves. Everyone dresses alike. Everyone participates. (laughs) As I pointed out in my last video, China has the oldest lawyers on the planet. That's the lawyer world order. That's where it's based out of. And so perhaps there really is a coup between the United States and Russia to take over China. These two countries are fairly similar. The USSR and and America aren't that that different. I don't know about Russia because I'm not from there, but a lot of shit's owned by Chinese around here. And I'm in Ohio, so I can only imagine nationwide. They own a lot of shit. I remember a long time ago, back when Alex Jones still existed, whenever they said that uh, that Hollywood is owned by China now instead of the Jews. And even back then, I started thinking to myself, everything's owned by China. And I was putting those dots together, like uh, the oldest civilization, oldest law system on the planet. As a matter of fact, their law system seems to be the framework for our own. The metaphor of the Eastern versus the West. So obviously that's the better of the two. And so you got to think about the politicians that are so against Trump and they're trying to impeach him. No matter how it looks in the court of public opinion, they're losing. They're losing all over the place. And I'm not partisan. I've never registered. I don't vote. I represent myself. I'm just watching all of this. Some of you have a stake in this one way or the other, and you're a little biased, you got to admit. But there's a lot of politicians that seem to be owned by China. And they're trying to expose this Russia stuff like it's a bad thing, and most people think that it probably is. But despite what Joe Biden might tell you, folks, China is competition. And it might take the union of Russia and America to overthrow the lawyer world order in China. I always say Trump is for trumping you legally this time period. But this time period also might be the time where we can trump the lawyer world order, meaning China. Imagine if one day you woke up and you realized that Russia and the United States were actually double agents and they've been playing China this whole time and all of the narrative that stems out from the political realms and in the news realms all of them feeding on the disinformation like rabid dogs just playing it up playing it up and they don't even know what they're doing but I think that gives you something to think about with the politicians that are so against collaborating with Russia why why so against collaborating why so against making a deal right Now you see with LeBron James and the NBA and all these other big corporations, Facebook, Google, whatever, all this shit, they're all into China. I mean, the iPhone that you have in your pocket was made in China. The Nikes you got on your feet are made in China. Most of the name brand clothes you're wearing is made in China. Most of the shit you have is probably made in China. (laughs) So obviously this government is pushing China on you far more than Russia. Why is that? Oh, I didn't realize that the people in this government were so spot on at representing your every whim. I mean, my God, it looks like they've given you exactly what you want, everything you want, and it's all made by China. Oh, imagine that. Nothing by Russia, though. If it's Russia, it's bad. It's, it's headline news if it's Russia. We're going to impeach a president if it's Russia. What's the point of this video? I'm just trying to elaborate on some concepts. That's all, people. I'm stuck in bumper-to-bumper traffic. <sighs> Tried to leave work a little early. I was in overtime, might as well peel off early, I hit the interstate, and there's like four accidents all over the, the highway here. So, all three lanes of traffic, bumper to bumper. 
I thought I could riff a little bit about my China theory and how they actually run the legal world. Let me clarify that. I mean, if they truly ran the world in all capacity of the word, they could just storm right over here and take shit over like their empire was still as mighty as it once was. But most of us have guns over here. <laughs> they can't just come and take it all. How do they do it? How do they infiltrate every household? Well, through the technology, as I said, it's all made by China. Or through your politicians who slowly tighten the screws on you in every jurisdiction that you could ever exist in in this world. Well, they're all beholden to China because this country is $22 trillion in debt to China. So every politician is working on behalf of those who we owe a debt to. The government was bought out a long time ago. That's why this is all steering that direction. Because it's already done. This is all a show, a charade. And part of the stipulations of the deal is you can't go blow the whistle and tell all the citizens. This is a slow takeover. That way it prevents on the casualties. You see, they still want the well-trained workforce, strong people, controlled through social media. Easy, easy for China. I mean, they don't want to kill everybody. They want to take it over slowly. Again, that's why it's the lawyer world order. That's how you do this shit. The pen is mightier than the sword. And I've put a challenge out to everybody, and I'm 65, almost 70 videos deep into this content now. It's been going on for a while. I've issued many challenges, just open public challenges. Somebody, debunk this. Please, steer me in the right direction if I'm wrong. Let me know what your theory is. Who runs shit? Is it the lizard people? Well, who drafts up all the paperwork for them? I'm curious. Is it aliens? Do they carry a Black's Law on their spaceship? Yeah, they might need to. I mean, who is it? Is it the Jews? Also, the Jews, they don't, they don't use lawyers. <laughs> so anyways, I'm waiting. In the meantime, I'm still making progress. I'm still unearthing facts. I'm still gathering confirmations from shit I said years ago. And it's panning out slowly, slowly, slowly. Just like this government reality TV show. Ugh, it just drudges on. Well, now we're going to subpoena you, and well, now we're going to take a vote on this. It's all just slow burn bullshit. Slow burn. If it was you or me that was fucking with the law, you don't think we would get caught up by the police or by the local law enforcement pretty quick? Of course. Of course. Again, this is the reason why it's the lawyer world order. Some people have immunity. Some people have the ability to say national security, and they just get the pass. And so, once again, the point of this video is is that uh, perhaps the Russian coup is true. And it's factional disclosure that these Democrats are like, uh, uh, It's a Russian coup. They're, they're, they're working with Russia. Because they, they are. They are. They know that they are. But they can't say that they're doing it to defeat China because that's who they represent. Very deep stuff, guys. Very deep. And so, I guess I'll wrap this video up, Internet. As I'm coming to a complete stop <laughs> in the fast lane behind an owl truck. That's one world logistics. I can only imagine what they're hauling. But I'm going to leave it there for today. Just some uh, China world order concepts I wanted to throw out. And um, I guess that's it for today. Until next time. Good night, guys.